This is session six of our pre-marriage counseling, the practice of marriage. This is our 11th overall session, and we have two more left after this, session seven and eight, and we'll, we will complete our pre-marriage counseling. I've entitled this section of the practice of marriage, Hot Pursuit. Now, what I want to talk about in this section is uh, primarily to the guys, uh, not not to say that women, um, that wives don't need this as well. But one of the things that I have noticed over the years in um, marriage and post-marriage counseling is the lack of uh, attention that men give to their wives uh, after they're married as it relates to the type of attention they were giving them um, prior to their marriage, because the guy was in, he was in pursuit. He was pursuing a, a wife and a mate. And a lot of times when uh, men accomplish their goal, they seem to set back and take it easy and rest. And they don't uh, continue with the same fervor or intensity or imagination um, or investment that they did uh, prior to, to, the, uh, to the marriage. And so, guys, your wife constantly needs her heart pursued. She constantly needs you coming after her. Um, uh, some of you that may be listening to this, you you may understand concepts of uh, of hunting and fishing, and and part of what the attract attraction is, from what I understand, in hunting and fishing, it 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 is the pursuit of of the animal and. It, each time there is um, uh, uh, there is this uh, underlying um, uh, drive from from the pursuit, uh, from the desire to try to outsmart this animal, whether it be a deer or a turkey or a fish or whatever it might be, uh, and, and you're understanding all the nuances of that particular animal, um, when a deer's in the rut, uh, what types of food he eats, fish, you know, what type of fish are at what levels in the water based on um, barometric pressure and water temperature and what kind of bait is necessary. You know, if they're on bottom, then a, 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 a bottom bait such as a worm or if, or if they're if they uh, tend to swim closer to the surface of the water than more of a, a top water lure or with turkeys, uh, a, a certain call to bring in a turkey and, and, uh, the, and, and, and all the nuances it takes to lure a turkey in close enough to, to kill it. And so men have within them um, this innate um, drive to pursue and to accomplish and that could even be even as a as a video game you see guys spend hours on hours on hours trying to learn how to conquer a a, a game because there is um there's a great satisfaction in the pursuit well guys you need to bring that same mentality over into your marriage relationship you need to constantly study your wife and pursue your wife um, one of the great movies that has come out about marriage called Fireproof, and, and I recommend that couples definitely watch this, is uh, Kirk Cameron's uh, character learns that he had not been pursuing his wife. And, and so his dad gives him this journal and says, look, do these, do these tasks and do them irregardless of how uh, your wife responds to this. And so what he's doing, he's, he, he's basically giving him 50 activities of pursuit 50 uh, 50 steps 50 ways to pursue his wife's heart and you and I need to do the we, we we need to be about the same business we need to be about pursuing and attacking and coming after and subduing um, our our wife's heart and if we if we don't uh, then we run the risk of, of of losing their heart, of of their heart straying away from us, of there being distance between her heart and and our heart, and and eventually what that can lead to, as we've been talking about, these are this will allow the foxes uh, into our vineyards, and eventually, before we know it, our vineyard is um, at best been badly damaged and 
at worst, it's been it's been destroyed. And so uh, I'm going to put in the show notes some some uh, uh, resources that I think will definitely help um, you guys um, to pursue your wife's heart. Okay, and and pursuing your wife's heart is not convincing your wife to do everything that you do. Uh, whatever that might be. Uh, if she does, if she goes and she does activities that you like to do, then that's great. That's fine. Uh, there, I, have, I have nothing wrong with that. But but also, your wife has desires. And do you know the desires of her heart? Do you, do you know what she wants to accomplish? Do you, do you know what she wants to, to do? Um, I, I don't like chick flicks, but I watch a lot of them. Uh, I watch a lot of Har- Hallmark Channel not because I love the Hallmark Channel, but because I love my wife. Um, I, I go to stores and events and plays and 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 all all, all kinds of um, activities that she that she loves. I, I'm not a big fan of Disney World, but I've been there five times because my wife absolutely loves Disney World. And so there again, you and I must find what. Uh, our wives, what their hearts desire, and we must pursue their heart. And if we can do that, then we will uh, we will build a bond and a depth with our spouse that uh, will be far beyond anything that we could air e- that we could ever uh, think or dare to imagine. And so, so guys, think about what you're pursuing right now. Think about what you're going after, what you're learning about, what you're studying about, uh, whether it's, you know, weightlifting, hunting, fishing, computers, uh, gaming, uh, whatever that might be, whatever that intent, uh, in, that very hyper, uh, focused atten- attention, um, that you're on right now, whatever that, whatever that is, I want you to, I want you to pull back from it. And ask yourself, am I giving my spouse that same type of attention? Am, do I have the same type of focus for her that I do for whatever it is? Am I pursuing her to the degree and to the, le- and to the level that I am pursuing fill in the blank? Whatever that was that you just thought about a moment ago that you are uh, hyper fixated on right now. And then bring those same principles, bring that same intensity, bring that same imagination, bring that into your relationship and begin to pursue your wife along those lines. And I promise you, you will not regret doing that. So guys, remember, be in hot pursuit. And wives, for you very quickly, be grateful in your husband's pursuit. It may be ugly at times he may stumble along the way at times he may he may fall short in his attempts at times but <clears throat> affirm what he does thank him for what he does and um and if you'll do that if you'll do that and you'll support him uh in his attempts then what you will find is you will find that he will come after you continuously and in greater ways. And over time, he will age like a fine wine and he will get better with time. As long as you um, will affirm, thank, and support. 